This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha mai kako. I'm Kaui Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland. Live streamed Fridays at 3 p.m. or whenever you want to watch on YouTube or listen to the podcast. You can get the details at thinktechhawaii.com. As discussed in an earlier show on Honolulu's participation in the Rockefeller Foundation's 100 Resilient Cities Project, there is so much to do to equip our fair city for the future. Building the commons is a strategy that has worked in many places. My guest, Ann Weber, is the co-working community manager for the Reborn Impact Hub in Honolulu. Welcome, Ann. Thanks, Kelly. So, um, many people know that there has been an impact hub. Yes. And then it went away for a little while, <laughs> and now it's Phoenix time. Yeah, absolutely. Out of the ashes, <laughs> definitely. So, um, let's, um, let's hear about it. Sure. So, three years ago, we started as Proto Hub Honolulu to kind of prototype the idea. Is it going to be feasible? Um, we had 160 members, 300 events. It was feasible. It was <laughs> <laughs> definitely, we outgrew that space um, in Kaka'ako and spent two years trying to get into our dream location, 1050 Queen Street. Um, it's 14,000 square feet, so three times the size of the Proto Hub. And we open on Wednesday. We have we have a couple of uh, images of, of what that space looks like, as well as the rendering behind us. Um, I'm I can't wait to see it in person. I do plan on being there for the opening oh, on great. Wednesday, especially since I saw saw that uh, Juicy Brew is going to be providing some of the refreshments. They are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always a temptation. Yes. <laughs> so we have. Um, so it's a um, the the. Want to give the cross street, Queen Street? Queen and, and Kamakei. Okay, right. And do we have the pictures of the, the team we have there? Uh, there they are. So yeah. maybe that profile of the, um, the building will... Mm -hmm. let it's the old know. world gym space. So the, um, the whole concept of co-working and a, a, a hub, an impact hub, um, what what drew you to that? Hmm. So for me personally, I was an elementary school teacher before this. So I taught third grade um, on the leeward side for the last four years. And I really saw this disconnect between educators and businesses and teaching children the skills that they needed to be able to go into the jobs that were available. So businesses were complaining that, you know, we're needing to, we're, we have to hire from the mainland and teachers weren't getting the right information. You know, how do you educate for the future? Um, so what drew me to Impact Hub, personally anyway, was this idea of bridging that gap, building direct connections between businesses, entrepreneurs, startups, people in sustainability and the educators themselves so that it's not happening at this high level with the DOE. It's happening between teachers and the people that need to fill those jobs. And in today's economy, you never know when you might want to or have to learn a new skill. I went to the Proto Hub to take classes uh, on WordPress, for oh, instance. Great. And there was a just, I mean, all walks of life in there. It was a great experience, but my gosh, it didn't look anywhere near as, as, as snappy as this new space. Yeah, we're very excited. It's, it's a little more polished than the Proto Hub, but the same idea. It's bringing people together to build communities and make impact. That's the idea. And this Impact Hub is one of an international network. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little? Sure. So Impact Hub Global is a partnership among 102 different Impact Hubs. They started in Europe. Um, and as if you are an Impact Hub member, then you get access to every single other Impact Hub. You can go visit for at least three days. Some of them wow. have longer. So you could spend the whole year just traveling around, visiting all of the <laughs> different ones, um, just being a member. So uh, the um, 
reciprocal benefits. I mean, if I went to Seattle for a week, mm -hmm. I could go three days there. But if I wanted to do more than three days, I would probably have to do some join, join. as a member there. Um, but so three days is the minimum that you have to commit to. So if someone from Oakland comes here, we give them three days. But impact hubs get to make the decision on whether they want to do more than the three days. So there's different policies per hub, but the minimum is three. So is this an independent organization? Is this a nonprofit? What kind mm -hmm. of an organization is it? Yeah, it is an LLC. Um, each one operates independently, but we're part of a global partnership. So we get the advantage of, being, of, of having makers all over the world who are trying to accomplish this, a similar vision. And here in Kaka'ako, that's um, a neighborhood that is excellent for bringing people together. It's so central, and you have uh, a wide variety of services. Do you want to talk about those a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So we offer co-working memberships, which means that you can come and work in any of the open spaces. You come and you bring your laptop, just like a coffee shop, um, except you have this network. If you are a small business, let's say you um, make some kind of food product, then you have access to a graphic designer who might work a few desks down, and someone in digital marketing, and someone that can help you with your packaging. How would I know that? Um, so it's a hosted environment. So at every Impact Hub, there's a host or ambassador that kind of is there to make sure that those serendipitous connections, all of that networking that makes being a member of a hub beneficial, that all of it is happening. So the, the host gets to know each of the members so that that person can introduce them in the appropriate situations. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we also have programming um, to bring people together as well. So all about honing that community and making sure that the members are talking to each other, that, that all of that networking that needs to happen is happening. So one of the really uncomfortable things about Kaka'ako is parking. Yeah. <laughs> Not Tell for us. <laughs> Tell us about that, because that's, the, that's where the rubber hits the road. Like, yeah. Like the details, like there are mm -hmm. events I won't go to in, in Kaka'ako simply because I don't want to waste the gas driving in circles. I'm exactly the same way. It's, it, I won't go eat at a place if it's just like, oh, well, I can't park there, or I have to pay a lot to park there. Exactly. Um, we have a parking lot in-house, Kamakei Vista. You enter on Kavaihau. It's 50 cents an hour with our validation, which you're just not going to find. Um, I also have- Better been, than meters. Mm -hmm, I've been parking daily for free right on Kavaihau. So, yeah, we have ample parking. It's very exciting. <laughs> and in, it's also covered, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Callie. <laughs> and for those of us who are more evolved, not us, but in our community, um, I'm not one of them, uh, you have space for bicyclists. Yes. And showers. And I'm showers. Tell us about that. The advantage to, being, um, to ha being in a space where it used to be a gym is that we have showers and we have um, bicycle storage and surfboard storage. So you can walk two blocks up and jump in the water at Al Moana Beach Park, surf bowls for a minute, come back after lunch, take a shower and get back to work. I sold about 500 <laughs> memberships. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it sounds so good. Wow. We also have um, a workshop room, which we want to bring a lot of movement classes. Um, so yoga, Pilates, um, gong meditation. We were speaking with someone who wants to bring that in. Um, so we want to offer our members, you know, the, the work-life balance. So let's just go down that, that mm -hmm. um, alley a little bit. So uh, the, the, the movement space, so that would be a room that if somebody wanted to do something one-off, or would it be something of it that if they wanted to do something ongoing? How, how does that sort of thing work? Both. So you could rent the room on an hourly basis. Um, if you're already a member, then you get a 40% discount. So big advantages to being a member. Um, and you could have a running program on the schedule, or you could just do it one time and get a sense for what it feels like. 
Uh, could you say something about that space? Yeah, it has um, wooden floors, so like the nice, um, you could do dance classes in there. We are keeping those nice floors. Um, it's well lit. Windows? Uh, it's completely closed. Windows all on one side. Mm -hmm. It has its own private access as well. So if you wanted to have people enter or exit from their own private access, that would be possible as well. Okay, and then I, I read something about a cafe. Yeah, so we're putting in a cafe. Um, we're still working out those details, but we're going to have ready-made food available, kombucha on tap, mm. um, and a break room as well. So if you do bring a lunch, then you have a microwave, a fridge, a toaster oven, um, free coffee for members, um, all available to you as well. So you don't need to feel like you have to go. We're also right across the street from the new Whole Foods that's coming in. So lots of options within about 10 yards. <laughs> I know it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I I, uh, I knew this was a good idea, but I I I didn't know how good an idea it was. And it seems like uh, you you can't even wait to start, and you've 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 already got events planned and mm -hmm. like for today. Yeah. So today we have an event um, by Women's Ma Women's March Oahu called Hot Feet. And Colleen Hanabusa has agreed to do town, town hall style Q&A. Um, it won't be moderated. Any question and all questions are welcome. You can submit questions online um, at slido.com. At what? Slido, S-L-I-D-O dot Thank you. Um, hashtag WM Hot Seat. Okay, so that's today, mm -hmm. which is Friday, August 18th. Yes. And then Wednesday is our opening blessing, so that'll start at 8.30 a.m. We will have some juicy brew goodies, and Kumu Ramsey is doing our um, Hawaiian blessing that morning. Um, and then that evening is Wet Wear Wednesday on August 23rd, um, sponsored by HTBC. So for people who aren't familiar with Wet Wear Wednesday, mm -hmm. it's not about bikinis. <laughs> no. <laughs> Took me a little bit on that one, too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, it's a palhana for people in the sustainability and um, technology industry. Well, I was really relieved to hear that they are <laughs> going to be having meetings because I've been to some of their meetings and the acoustics in some other venues were really not conducive to conversation. Mm. So really a great uh, upgrade for, for facilitating communications, which is what it's all about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have um, the uh, official opening happening next week, mm -hmm. um, but people can already become members. Yeah, absolutely. So you go onto our website, impacthubhnl.com, and all of our membership options are there. You'll see three different levels. We also offer offices and hot desks, um, which means that you have a desk for $350 a month. Um, where you can keep your stuff, but it is in the open. We'll come back and talk about those um, those uh, specific details mm -hmm. after our break. Thanks so much, Anne. Oh, thank you, Kelly. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Welcome to Sister Power. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, where we motivate, educate, empower, and inspire all women. We are live here every other Thursday at 4 p.m., and we welcome you to join us here at Sister Power. Aloha and thank you. Aloha, I'm Richard Concepcion, the host of Hispanic Hawaii. You can watch my show every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. We will bring you entertainment, educational, and also we tell you what is happening right here within our community. Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha.
Welcome back to Hawaii is my mainland. I am Kali Lucas, and today I am talking with Ann Weber, who is telling us about the brand new reborn Hawaii Impact, uh, Honolulu Impact, Impact Hub Honolulu. Let's see if I can mm -hmm. say that wrong again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so it's been two years since we've had an in, the Impact Hub Honolulu really up and running. Mm -hmm. um, I can see why. It looks like you guys have been very busy. Yeah, absolutely. So we, since being the proto hub in Kaka'ako, um, we were trying to find the larger space, and it took us two years to really get that buy-in from the state um, to grant us the lease in this space. And speaking of buy-in, mm -hmm. you have also gotten some very nice buy-in from the community through yes. your crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, we're going to show the video that you guys made. It's the, the campaign is over, oh, but great. you're going to tell us about Absolutely. it after the video. Mm -hmm. Aloha, we are the Impact Hub Honolulu team and we are building the commons to build community. We recognize the important role community plays in every aspect of your life. Without a gathering place that inspires you to create, build and collaborate, our space would just be boring office space. The commons is a community seating and gathering area inside Impact Hub Honolulu. We're building bleacher style comfortable seating that can be rolled into any area and separates into two pieces for dynamic events, haohanas, programs, speakers, artists, and much more. We want our members to have a space to come and take a brain break, have casual conversation, and share ideas. But the Commons is more than a casual gathering place just for members. It will create direct local impact in your community this campaign will support organizations that may not have the budget for co-working memberships or events. In addition to building the actual structure, your donation goes towards scholarships and event sponsorships to support impact makers, small organizations, and causes that you care about. So, we have 30 days to turn our vision for the Commons into reality. Let's create impact and let's create the Commons. Okay, um, who were those delightful gentlemen you were seated with? So that was George Yarbrough and Nan, Nam Vu, our co-founders and co-directors for the space. Okay, so tell us what, what the whole um, uh, crowdfunding uh, adventure was like. Sure, so we have been gathering um, a founding partner, partner's circle, which is um, corporations and nonprofits throughout the state of Hawaii um, that we believe would benefit from involvement in Impact Hub and also vice versa. Um, through that, we thought, why not make the community one of our founding partners? Mm -hmm. And so that's where the idea of the Commons was born. So the Commons is the background behind us, I believe. Um, we're going to do bleacher style seating, um, but you heard all that in the video. Um, we were able to raise $10,332 so that we could build not only the, the commons itself, but a scholarship fund for micro nonprofits, for causes, for community events that we want to bring to our community and that we want people to be aware of. So they can have their events for free and the community has sponsored them. So how long will it be before those kind of uh, programs are up and running? They're already running. The first three that we've done, um, we, let's see, when did they start? In about mid-July, we started having events, and those have been um, free events. So we did an educator um, documentary screening of Most Likely to Succeed, and we did a design thinking of activity. Yeah, we love that one. Um, around designing space for learning and collaboration, which is exactly what we're trying to do. So we got some of our ideas for our designs from that design thinking activity. Um, so really fun, we've been trying to bring in the community. Um, another event that we had was a hackathon, Angel Hat came all the way from Silicon Valley and they had six simultaneous hackathons going on around the world. Um, and so Honolulu, this was their first time there. They did it in our bare bones skeletal space. 
Um, so but, how did that work? That's an amazing event. So uh, a hack the, So who came? Who, who was? What was it like? We had 80 developers. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there for 36 hours. <laughs> Sitting in the scaffolding and um, just going straight through, and then they there were twelve teams, and they pitched their ideas on Sunday afternoon to our panel of judges, and the winner was Shirt Connect, um, who are also now members of the hub. So that was one of the the rewards that we gave. For Do that. you remember anything about their? Um, uh, what are they doing? Yeah, so their business was um, providing a way for businesses to create advertisements that people wear. So people could get access to free shirts that um, businesses have made available in order for advertising to happen. Do you win billboards? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not wearing my outdoor circle hat at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, speaking of stories, I'm sure over the, the years um, there have been a few. And just to give people an idea of, of, of why um, it's useful and why it's worth it for uh, corporations and, and the public to support this, tell us what, what can an impact hub do? Mm -hmm. So there's so many stories, whether it's a connection happening in real life from people sitting next to each other at the same hub or online on HubNet, um, which is a, it's the Impact Hub global social network. So you have, as a member, you get access to this network of entrepreneurs all over the world. So if you're doing similar types of business and you're having a problem with insurance and trying to figure out, well, how do I even go about solving this problem, then you have access to other people in this giant brain trust. Um, but in terms of face-to-face -face interactions, um, one that comes to mind is a bikini designer, actually, that was working out of the hub. Um, and she was just starting out, and she had her product. And the product was fantastic. It was um, bikinis for women who surf, because I'm sure you know as well as I do that they don't stay on as well as they should. Um, so these were specially designed. Um, they had a special waistband um, and, and all of that technology. But she needed a way to market it. Uh, and so she met at the Hub a graphic designer who was able to do her branding, who then connected her to another member who was able to really start pushing it. And since then, the business has grown exponentially. Um, the great thing about that is we track that revenue growth so that we can we can kind of trace our impact in the community as well. Okay, so let's get um, down into the nitty-gritty of what um, the memberships cost and how that works if you mm -hmm. can. Sure, so there's unlimited 24-7 membership is $215 a month. That lets you in anytime and you can use all of the common areas. Um, for $95 a month it's our part-time membership for uh, 10 days per month. So if you take out weekends, you're looking at about 20 days a month. Part-time is 10 days. And then we have a $30 membership for two times per month, and any additional day is $10. So simple, easy peasy, three options. <laughs> and you can always go up or down once you kind of see your usage. There isn't a, a long-term commitment, no. No, month to month. So the, the um, business model for this has, how long has that been around? Co-working? Yeah, um, uh, for uh, this impact hub, the, the network. Um, probably, I think about 12 years. 12 years, mm -hmm. so it's pretty mature. No wonder they have their own um, uh, social media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, what is your, um, what are you most excited about um, as far as events upcoming? It doesn't have to be next week, but just in, mm -hmm. in the near future. I am most excited for, wow, there's so many. <laughs> um, it's been so much about getting people in the space. That's what I'm really excited about. Be, from being an educator, my favorite part of being an educator was building a community, growing a nurturing community of collaborators. And so that's what I'm most excited for, to be able to understand the community needs and provide programming 
that relates to what they do and also the impact that they want to create. How many people will fit in the commons area? Oh, in the commons area, um, depending that, on the setup. Is that the only public area? No, so okay. we also have a main event area, which is even larger. Okay. So the commons could probably fit about 25 people very comfortably. All right. um, but you could bring in more chairs on the side and do a lot of flexible um, seating arrangements. The main event area is right next to the commons. Um, there was, there's the picture, perfect. Um, that could fit easily over probably 130 people. That's what our chair limit is at. <laughs> so, but a Pauhana, um, definitely more. A uh, Pauhana, you mean just if it's if it's, it's not informal. seated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anything okay. where you wouldn't need seating, you could fit more bodies in. Wow. Well, somehow we only have two minutes left. I'm not My quite goodness. sure how that <laughs> happened. So. Uh, tell us what we really need to know that I don't know enough to ask you about. <laughs> um, we open on August 23rd, and we will be free from August 23rd to September 6th for co-working. So come in and work for the day for free. Well, I absolutely will. <laughs> I can't wait to find my, my, my perfect spot there. Yeah. There's so many to choose from. Okay, and all of that, all of that, and showers and 50 cent parking, and wow, it's just amazing. Thank you so much, Anne, for coming to tell us the great news about something positive happening in our community that isn't just a one-shot deal, that you guys have showed your commitment to this community, and we just wish you all the best. Thank you, Cowie. Thank you for having me, and I can't wait to see you there. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha.